The screen team is back. I'm Chris. This is Stacy. We've got movie reviews for you right here on KWOC. This is going to be our last segment of the full hour show for you, brought to you by Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, where Walmart is next door to us, also Fearless Social and Poplar Bluff Drywall. Our final film is an old classic. It's called The Odd Couple. Features Walter Matthau and also Jack Lemon. And of course, we've seen these guys before. Have you ever seen movies like uh, Grumpy Old Men? Mm-hmm. I mean, that was, you know, their kind of chemistry, you know, uh, in the 90s. And this kind of shows what their chemistry was like, you know, way before yeah. that. And I think the, like the late 60, 60s and stuff like that. Um, so you got Walter Matthau. He, his character is. Uh, is he Oscar or Felix? I forget. Walter Matthau, yeah. he's Oscar. Okay, he's Oscar. He's kind of, He is a uh, a beat writer for the Mets, I believe. Mm-hmm. And he is uh, newly divorced, I think, yeah. or separated yeah. from his wife and his kids. And he is, he's got this beautiful bachelor pad. Eight rooms. It's got eight rooms in it. <laughs> it I does, man. I heard it once, I heard it five times. It's huge. And he's kind of a slob, to, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, he has no idea what's in his fridge. He has no idea how long it's been in his fridge. Yeah, yeah it's either new, really new cheese or really old meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And, of course, every Friday he's got a group of his friends that come over and they have a big card game. And, um, you know, his friends are, are fun. I think one of them is a cop and a couple other of them are. Did you know who the cop was? Wasn't he in Golden Girls? He was. He was Stan <laughs> on the Golden Girls. Did you know who the other guy was? The um, I, wanted, I wanted to say the bald guy, but they're all bald guys. Um, the guy who uh, was getting ready to go on vacation with his wife. Oh, I kind of know, but I can't call it right off the top of my head. I don't know what his name is, but he does the voice of Piglet in Winnie the Pooh. Oh. True well, story. I think I've seen him in some other movies kind of in that time or like a TV show. Or he was also something. in um, 12 Angry Men, which we reviewed that's it yeah um so we've got oscar walter Matthau, and then we've got felix played by jack lemon and we <laughs> see from the very beginning that uh, he's having uh, a rough go about it he's trying yeah. to commit suicide in the very opening scenes and he's not and having he, he can't luck. even get that done <laughs> he fails at it man it's hilarious and he's doing this because his wife <laughs> has said she doesn't want to be married to him anymore mm-hmm. so you know, he he realizes he's driven her crazy, and maybe everybody would just be better off if he was gone. Yeah. But he's a hypochondriac, and a clumsy one at that. <laughs> so, it just kind of starts off... At first, I was a little confused when it first started, because mm-hmm. I was like, hmm, what's this guy doing? And then he, he rented that room, and it kind of went from there. I was like, yeah. oh, I see what's up now. <laughs> yeah. So his friends, uh, they find out what, what's what's going on with uh, Jack Lemon's character, and Walter Matthau was like, you know what? Why don't you stay at my place, and um, you know we'll we'll get you straightened up, and we'll get things better for you. So um, after that, uh, Walter Matthau, Oscar's character, um, he finds out that uh, Jack Lemon is definitely a pill to live with. Yeah, he's a neat freak. He's um. He thinks his way of cooking is the only way of cooking. Mm-hmm. He, you know, he, he he and he keeps referring to Walter Matthau by his wife's name. Good night, That's Francis. Right. Good night, Francis. Yes, Francis. Whatever, Francis. You know, <laughs> and Walter Matthau's kind of like, dude, right? Quit, quit cleaning my house. Quit doing all this stuff. You know, but um, one of my favorite parts is you know when they. Uh, I guess he was making dinner for him, and he's like, well, where were you? Yeah. He's like, well, I just, you know, went and got a drink or whatever. I had a late night at the office, and he's like, well, you said you are going to be home by 7. Yeah, and, and it's 8. <laughs> and he was like, so I got to answer to you now? Right. You know? Um, one of my all-time, well, what, before I get to my all-time favorite quote in this movie, um, there's a scene, uh, and it goes along with the scene we just mentioned, but uh, uh, Oscar invites uh, a couple of ladies over to uh, to have dinner, and, and Felix, you know, sets it all up or whatever like that. You know, he gets all the food, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, they're having small talk conversation, you know. Uh, uh, we met here, and this and that, and and you see Jack Lemmon's character. He's He's trying to figure out a way to to get in the conversation yeah. and he can't yeah and he's like supposed to be hot the next couple of days <laughs> <laughs> and they just look at him like what and he's sitting there with that ladle you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
So to go along with that conversation, the next day, they uh, uh, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau get into a huge fight. And my the favorite line comes up where Walter Matthau's laying in bed. And he's like, I'm just so tired of, of your nonsense. You know, you leave me little notes. Yeah. You leave me little <laughs> notes all over the place. You left me a note saying... Uh, uh, something, something. That I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, f you. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes. It took me three hours to figure out you met Felix Unger. <laughs> I'll tell you, Walter Matthau. He is so hilarious. Like he's just and and I had I was kind of reading up on him and they were talking about him. They're like you never knew if he was joking, mm-hmm. even in real life. Like you didn't know if he was joking or if he was being serious. Just yeah. like he was kind of in the movie, you couldn't tell. You know, like sometimes he might be joking and sometimes he might be really serious. Right. You know, and he says, the problem is if I don't touch something soft in the next two weeks, you know, (laughs) we're going to have a problem, which is what led to them having this date, which didn't go like it was supposed to go, Mm -hmm. which turned into the big fight, which turned into, you know, just kind of sort of finishes out the movie or whatever. and, And then they proved that just because you're good friends doesn't necessarily mean you know someone right or that you can live with them that's true that's very true um great great movie and it's great because um the acting is so well done yeah um it's written very very well just the chemistry between those two characters jack lemon and walter Matthau, was so well done um i definitely recommend it to uh, anybody the only negative thing that i would say about it is is that you can tell it's kind of time dated a little bit you know there's a scene where uh, Jack Lemon's in a uh, like a bar or something like that, and you see all these like go-go dancers, you know, doing this yeah. funny. Da- like that scene to me was kind of like, uh, it seems kind of out of place in today's you know culture. But well, the rest, that movie's almost fifty years old. True, I mean, true. It, it kind of fell in with that times. So I mean, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, I think the rest <laughs> of the movie, I think people of today can enjoy. Is yeah, is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Um, you watched it. Did you Did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, I loved yeah. it, but. I like the older movies mm-hmm. for one. I the two I love that Technicolor, the, <laughs> the color of the the way the film is. Mm-hmm. I love all the way the houses are decorated. Mm-hmm. I love, you know, they have. There was a scene where they were in that um, cafe, you know, where he was going, mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I was like, that I I would love to go to a cafe like that, but it yeah. has to be designed exactly like that with yeah. the same colors. It was like the drab brown or whatever, but it's just. I don't know. I, I kind of like going to different different times within, I mean, we're talking within a certain amount of time. I don't want to go back to like, you know, the 1100s or something <laughs> like that. But, you know, like the 50s and 60s and 70s and all that stuff. I like to watch things like that. I like to see how it was decorated and what they, you know, what they put there that we totally could not have now. That would just, and his TV that wheeled mm-hmm. around, you know, like mm-hmm. that was really cool. So I like looking at all the the set stuff and and the way they were dressed and of course it was a little baseball in there the that's old right. triple play that's right so yeah i really really enjoyed this so there, there was a lot for me to look at who do you identify more with oscar or felix oscar really yeah i'm more and it's felix. funny my friend amanda she's like she's tidy to the t yeah and so i was texting her while i was watching i was like <sighs> Oh man, you got to watch this movie. It, it's like me and you to the extreme, you know. Yeah. Like, it, and it was funny. And so I was, I was telling her more about it, and I was like, he is super, super neat, and his food's always good, mm-hmm. and his meatloaf comes out on time. And <laughs> me, I just, it, it doesn't matter to me either way, you know. But yeah. I'm definitely more of an Oscar. Definitely Oscar Felix guy. for sure. Uh, Stacy, thank you for being on the show, man. This is a lot of fun. I appreciate yeah. it. We'll be back next week with a brand new show. We'll be doing uh, movies like Super Troopers. Uh, we'll also yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll also be doing Caddyshack. Anything for Caddyshack? No? no. Okay. And we'll finish off with the new uh, superhero film. Actually, it's not about superheroes. It's about supervillains. It's called Suicide Squad. That's coming your way Ooh. next Saturday at 6 p.m. right here on KWOC.